All right, you little fifth graders. Today's a good day because today we finish writing the essay. We've got one more paragraph to do. Let's review our topic. Think about a machine you have used to do a task. How did you use it? How did using the machine make the task easier? Would you use the machine again? Why or why not? Then we answered all those questions. Of course, mine is the chainsaw. And then I taught you how to do an introduction paragraph. This is very important because we're going to talk about this introduction paragraph pretty soon. And then we did a main detail one paragraph on how you use the machine. And then we did a main detail two paragraph, a whole paragraph about how did using the machine make the task easier. And then a main detail three, would you use the machine again, why or why not? A whole paragraph about that. Today, we are closing out with a conclusion, a closing paragraph. Now this outline should look very familiar. Pop it in. Main detail one, main detail two, main detail three, closing sentence, the topic sentence and the closing sentence say the same thing in different ways. That's that sentence and that sentence. Now look at what I put here. The introduction paragraph and the conclusion paragraph say the same thing in different ways. If you will just go back to your introduction paragraph. Oops, that's not the introduction paragraph. Sorry. If you would just go back to the introduction paragraph, you will see how to do the closing paragraph. Because they both have the same outline. All you have to do is restate your introduction paragraph in a different way. Now, don't say the same sentences, just say the same thing in different ways. My introduction paragraph is right here. I have felt the power of a chainsaw in my hands before. Many trees lost their lives. This was much better than using an axe. When it was time to cut some more, when it is time to cut some more trees, I will go to the garage and grab that bad boy again. Using a chainsaw makes you feel like a man. Now I'm going to say this whole paragraph in another way. Okay, but look real quick. Introduction. Main detail one. Main detail two. Main detail three. And here is what you're doing today, the closing paragraph. And now you see what a fifth grade essay is supposed to look like, at least five paragraphs. Let's look at my topic sentence. You are really missing out if you, never, if you have never used a chainsaw. That's my topic. Detail one, using an axe is a thing of the past. Detail two, that machine made it possible to cut down ten times as many trees than an old axe would. Detail uh, three, only a fool would pick an axe over the Tree Master 500. And then my closing sentence for the whole essay, be a man and use a chainsaw. This right here is saying the exact same thing that my introduction paragraph said, except I'm just using different words is all, different sentences. So if you're having problems figuring out how to close your essay, just look at how you started it. And that will give you a very good clue as to how you should end it. Now, this is a fifth grade essay. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five sentences, five paragraphs.
paragraph. I'm indenting every paragraph. You do your closing sentence right now, just like I showed you. Keep that piece of paper until tomorrow, because tomorrow, in the Google document that I provide for you, you're going to type the whole essay so I can see your beautiful work. And if it's not five paragraphs, if it's not 25 sentences, if it's not about the topic that I have been giving you the last five writing classes, you're going to have to do the whole thing over again. So you better make sure it is right before our next writing class. You got it? Yes, you do. Elvis has left the building.